Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Ajo here with KissAndLog.com. Sorry, it's been a while. Just getting over a cold. Been kind of knocked out for a little while. And then I had a business trip uh, just before that. So, yeah, sorry about the lack of videos. I'm going to try to catch up. Hey, I want to do a quick video today. If you're using uh, MicroCap, and if you're not, you should be. <laughs> it's free. It used to be 4700 bucks. And it's been free for now, uh, for a while now. I've got a bunch of tutorials, and I've had a few questions about how to set up the display. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you're watching uh, certain you know simulation programs or all kinds of different uh, things on your computer, the display has a white background. It's pretty bright when you're looking into it, right? So I want to show you how you can change that. Uh, brightness okay so the uh, more pleasing a little easier on the eye okay it's come up a few times so I thought I'd do a quick video on how to set up your preferences for your display your background okay so let's take a look all right all right guys if you're on the screen you have a schematic like this up what you can do is you can just use uh, the right click button I'm on a Mac so I, I push both buttons down and then it gives me this properties I go to properties and see I have already got highlighted smack background here but if you look at this you got all kinds of things you can change colors of so what you do is you come to the schematic background like I have here and you notice it's a white background so you can change it to blue if you want you can change it to gray all sh different shades of gray you know whatever let's say we choose this one and you want to see what it looks like then just hit that let's go back to that blue one just for fun click on that apply that maybe you like that you know i mean actually i've never really looked at that one before but i kind of like that right now i might actually try that for a while uh, let's try this green one let's try a okay light green a little darker green there you go you know so anyway that's um how you can do it okay you know what i think i'm gonna go ahead and try this one for now uh i i think i might actually try that i didn't think about that until i just tried this video so all right there we go i, I can see all my colors i can see yeah that that actually looks pretty pleasing to the eye now one thing, here's another thing I want to show you. Is you go to options and you come down here to preferences, it's going to give you a whole bunch of different things you can set up. Okay? So you want to kind of go over these things. But for this time, I just wanted to show you how to set up the colors. Okay? And a lot of that kind of stuff you'll find in, in this option as well. Okay? There's another thing I want to show you. We can down here view. Come down to view, then slide over here, and then come down. And you'll see this uh, right now, there's no grid. It's just a clear background. Sometimes when you're setting up a schematic or whatever, it's nice to have a grid. So there's different options. See, there's a simple grid. I kind of like the simple grid. But you can also come down and go back to view. And you can do these bold 5 or 6 or say 10. And see what it does is every 10 it puts a bold. The other ones put the bold a little bit closer. I don't like this one so much because sometimes these bold dots end up on one of my lines. And then I'm trying to decide... Is that a, you know, anyway, I, I don't like that. Maybe you understand what I'm saying, but uh, maybe you guys will. So there's options for everybody. And then you can come down to graph paper. I actually like this one. Now in this blue background, maybe it doesn't look as good. Here, let's try something. Now that I see the blue, I'm thinking maybe the gray looks better for this. Yeah, you know what? I actually think I do like gray best. It also might save some uh, battery life on your on your laptop if you're using that like I am now. 
because it's not putting out that bright light. But you know, I, I kind of like this gray background. It's a little easier on the eyes. Still, it gives you a lot of definition on your circuit. And yeah, so I kind of like that. I'm gonna come down here view again. And this time I'm gonna turn off and go back to no grid. So I've gotten used to this cleaner look. Sometimes I want to graph, like especially when I'm starting to build a circuit and I want to put parts in certain places. Sometimes the graph paper, I think, helps you organize things based on you have, uh, you know, the grids to give you some perspective of size and you know where to place your parts. But once you have your schematic built, I kind of like this view. So, yeah, I just thought I'd give a few minutes just to show these basic setups, okay? And one more thing. If you come down here to views, you can come down here and you can hit this crosshair. You can also put a border around your uh, schematic and title block. I'll talk more about that probably in another video, but let me just show you the crosshair. So, maybe some people might like this better i know that some uh simulation packages um have more of a crosshair and you might be used to that so i just wanted to show you that quick too but all right so i guess i think that pretty much covered what i wanted to show in this one all right so one last thing i like to show you is default if you just want to default so you don't have to mess around with this every time come down to default Properties for new circuits. Alt F10 is the uh, keyboard, you know, quick keyboard connections. But anyway, okay, so once you come up here, a lot of these things will have um, a lot of subcategories and you'll see the plus. So just click on that, turn it into a minus, and then you can see all these things. So here's a title block, here's the view, color and font. So that's where you can come back here to background and just change that permanently for every, you know, default. Well, and obviously you can change it per schematic, but if you want a default setup, come over in here, play it around in this menu, and you'll see a lot of options. Okay. All right, guys, I hope that helped just to show you how to, you know, set up your preferences. Uh, to make it a little more pleasing to the eye. Quick video. Hope it helped. Thumbs up. Appreciate it. Helps the videos. Thumbs up to my Patreons. All the support I get. If you want to become a patron for as little as a dollar a month, links below. Thanks, guys. See you next time.